Uh, without a doubt, Barry Robson. Oh my, you could tell Baz, who came up here as a young boy from Rangers, you could tell he's from Inverurie, lads, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> he's been he's been he's been said before for that, hasn't he? Yeah, he's Barry been Robson. said before, aye. Yeah. Boot cut boot cut jeans and all that, hasn't he? Oh he's unbelievable, absolutely, aye. Aye, cowboy <laughs> shirts and he thinks he's an, uh, he's some kid. Aye. <laughs> oh, I've got to go with uh, he's actually at the club at the moment as a coach, Barry Wilson. He was a mm-hmm. greeting faced so and so in the park. Aye. He really was. He was He's one of these boys that would rather get beat 4-3 and get a hat trick than win 2-1 and no score. You know? <laughs> uh, he's, uh, oh, he, he, he used to stand out that right wing and greet his face off. He wasn't involved in the game, so he's right He's right up there. I tell you, it's funny you say that because I actually played centre midfield and the managers at Cali Thistle, I didn't, I wasn't the most, um, I didn't cover much grass in a match day, let's say, so... I needed a bit of a minder beside me, and we had two or three over my time in, in midfield. But we had a boy, Paul Cherry. He came up. He mm-hmm. played with St Johnston. He's actually now out in Mercia. He's made the right decision. He's out in the out in the sun selling houses. But uh, I, Paul Cherry, he was a good minder actually. And when the going got a bit tough, he was always be in there to look after you. To be fair. Oh, for the love of Christ! You've obviously not seen Cali <laughs> Thistle players. <laughs> 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 Uh, I, I'll tell you who used to well obviously I was the two years I was at Celtic you had Mr McAvenny who fancied himself a wee bit and uh, yeah. but there was a right right back at that time he was the last man to leave the change room I don't know if you remember him you lads may be too young a boy Chrissy Morris Chris played, Morris aye I remember Chris, Chris Morris, Morris played with Celtic he was uh, he was a bit Rico Suave you know so <laughs> he, he'd be right up there Well, the teacher's pet's Paul Sheeran. Oh, my God. That's St- really? Steve Patterson, you know. He's a famous manager up here. Steve, brilliant manager, who also liked 20 pints of Guinness after a game. But Paul, Paul Sheeran was his blue-eyed boy. It was yes sir, no sir. And, of course, Paul scored a penalty against Celtic in that go ballistic night. So he was uh, even more the blue-eyed boy after that. But uh, he's right up there, Paul. I'm sure we'll hey, talk was... about that night a wee bit later. Aye, we'll, talk, we'll talk about that night soon, man. We'll get to that <laughs> night. That must have been credit in the bank, though, scoring a penalty that night for him. Brilliant. Ah, fair play. Am I? He was just, he was shooed in for another four year contract. <laughs> <laughs> I played well, obviously, the two years I was at Celtic, lads. I played with Lights McStay, who was different class, you know. Mm-hmm. Paul's probably the best player I've ever lined up with in that team. Um, incredible player. Up in Inverness, we had a boy, Dennis Wynas who was a uh, tremendous yeah, ability. I, I remember him. He's a number number 10 sort of player, Dennis, and really good player. I played up front with him a couple of, t- well, quite about half a season myself, and he was really skillful. So I'd say Dennis and, and Paul McStay were two geniuses with football. Uh, worst trainer? Well, there's been a few, by the way. There's been a few, but one of the worst guys I've ever seen at training was when I was actually first team coach. We got a boy, big eight, Alec McLeish, was manager of Rangers. And he sent, a, I think the lad was Turkish, a boy Byram Fetai, up to, to go on loan and play for Cali Fizzle, get a bit of game time. He wasn't getting mm-hmm. in the scene at Rangers. So mm-hmm. Big X sent him up here. I think he knew Craig Brewster quite well, Brew was our manager. And the boy managed within the first week of training, he managed to stick the head in two people. <laughs> 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 and that's a true story, by the way. Um, we, know, we know the Turks are a wee bit fiery, but... Uh, so he's got to be, certainly within four days, I've never seen anyone become so unpopular in my life. <laughs> Imagine God alone, man, left a four days sticking the head on to him. <laughs> God alone, within four days, he's put head in two different players. <laughs> the cliche phone in Brewster, how's your boy getting on? Well, yeah, bro, I, 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 let me tell you. Back, is there any come back to Ibrox High tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> Stick on here, Richard Hastings. Right. He played with us. He was a left back, Canadian internationalist. Oh, for the love of God, lads! Seeing the players' night out. <laughs> I've got. He actually, we had a fancy dress one one Christmas night out as football teams do. Uh, we all we all had to dress up fancy dress, so we all made a bit of an effort, you know, some really good ones. And Richard Hastings comes in with the, just a white coat on, and we're going. We couldn't figure it out because Richard, what are you? 
And he says, oh, I'm George Clooney out of VR. Honest to Christ. But he, uh, he he was unbelievable, honestly, trying to get him. I don't, I don't think he's ever seen a bar in his puff. <laughs> I love, I love that he turned it up, man. Like, I mean, obviously, I'm George Clooney for ER. Yeah. <laughs> More like George Formby. <laughs> <laughs>